I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to uh, do a really good job of cutting off your butt stocks if you need to shorten that stock for a child or a woman or anybody that's smaller than average, whatever average might be. Um, typically when we do this we're you know putting it up here and then we're to make sure that the stock is square up and down and side to side and front to rear and everything we end up trying to put shims and and fool around here and and do all kinds of things to get this lined up straight when we make the cut well I found a simpler way to do this and it works just as well and it's really fast it involves making yourself a little fixture first. Now, this is just uh, three pieces of one by four. It's certainly not high tech at all. Um, my length is not particularly important either. As you can see, I've screwed it all together here and I also glued the surfaces so it's not coming apart. What is important is that this be absolutely square. It's got to be square that way which it is, and it's got to be square this way, which it is. And why is that? Well, because when I lay this piece up here and clamp it down, I need to know that it's exactly parallel with the blade this way and parallel with the blade this way. That's imperative. That's the, what we're doing here on our system. Now, the particular stock I'm going to cut, I need to take a half inch off, and I happen to know that it's right there. If you don't know yet where that is, of course, then line up to the where you've cut through your uh, uh, plate here on the bottom on your chop saw. It always cuts through here. So line up to the outside of the blade. If you want to lock the blade down and measure from this side over, either way, however you choose to do it. But in this case, I want it to be a half inch, and that's a half inch. Always include the width of the blade because it's going to cut it off. Now let's talk about the blade real quick. Now the blade that you use is important and this is the one that I just showed you, the Freud Melamine Ultimate Blade. It's really important for one quick reason and I'll show you again. When you cut down, you're cutting down through the top. So this part is always a nice smooth cut as is this. But the back side here and the bottom where the blade comes down through, if that's not a really good blade, you're going to get a bunch of chipping and feathering. Now I've heard people talk about taping it and we talked about that before but when I peel the tape off all the stuff comes with it so it doesn't work well. Now let me show you how we're going to do this here. This is a big set of uh, uh, vice grip clamps. If I can get, there we go. Okay. Now, that's absolutely locked in. When I bring this down, we're square, and I'm going to cut a half inch off the stock. Now, what I do is this. I lay it up here, and I just adjust it until, I think you can see that there, the butt of the stock as it exists is exactly flat and square with my fixture here. Now I know that as the blade comes down, this is going to be exactly flat and square. Now I can hold this here, either putting my finger behind it, however I choose to do it, and make the cut. Now it works easily with this because the back side of the stock here is essentially square with the butt stock. But let's say you have something like... Uh, the 1022 stock here where you got all swoop de doo and all kinds of stuff here. It actually works just as well. Just make sure that you line it up so that it's square and flat. And then it's pretty darn easy just to grip the back of the uh, um, grip the, the back of the um, uh, fence here and get a good, a good hold on that. Now you're pushing the, the stock against this so that even as the blade comes down and pushes on this it doesn't move it. It doesn't allow it to move until it gets through the very last bit of the stock and then it will push against the side of the blade but it's not going to hurt anything you're already through and you're done. And it, it really works. It's that fast and that simple. Boom, come down and cut it. Now one thing I should mention 
Um, you saw on the sides here that those screws were uh, countersunk. You don't want the screws out flush here because if you're going to cut real short, like maybe you're only going to cut an eighth of an inch off, so you're only leaving a sixteenth of an inch of the stock in here, as that goes through the last part of the stock, of course, then the stock slides over, you're pushing against the side of the blades, and you don't want these tips hitting against the tops of these screws because, you know, you don't want to blow up a 90 degree blade. Okay, let's go ahead and cut one here. Okay, we've got it. Now, obviously, make sure that your hands are clear. <laughs> you don't want to leave any parts or, you know, spray blood back here. All right, let's see how fast this goes. To see or hear, just as it went through, you heard kind of a click as the as the uh, saw cleared and the stock started pushing against the side of the blade. Well, here we go. This is the bottom side, and there is not a single bit knocked out of here anywhere. It's just gorgeous. It looks just as good as the top side did. There's no chipping. There's no marring, and it's dead flat. If you take a look at the piece we cut out. And you'll see the same thing. There is no marring or chipping on either side of this. It's absolutely perfect. And it's dead flat. Well, there you go. Fast, easy, and does a tremendous job.